slipped to 65.2 percent. Those are the lowest numbers in roughly 20 years. Joining us right now, real estate expert Mark Bloom with the details on why this is happening. Mark, good morning. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Uh, all right, we have fewer people as a percentage owning homes now than we have uh, in two decades. What's causing this? First, I think everyone's looking at it as kind of, and you kind of intimated to this, a, a negative thing. I don't necessarily know that it is, because in our world, as you know, for every action, there's a reaction. I think what's causing it was initially the downturn in real estate, which creates fear. Fear is obviously the most powerful motivator in our world, and, and that has kept people from home ownership. Additionally, fear from the banks, and that resulting in fewer mortgages or harder mortgages to obtain, made it more difficult for people to obtain uh, to uh, purchase homes, as well as the flexibility that you get with not really being tied to anything when you rent, given the downturn in the, in the general economy and employment. I think has made for a lower home ownership rate. Now let's note that it, it did go from 65.3 to 65.2, so we're not really talking about an epic drop. The benefit of that is, is I believe, and I'm seeing because what we do at Network Realty is investment real estate, single family, multifamily investment real estate, and we're seeing a lot of new entrants into the market, not just individuals, but funds and people from Wall Street buying single family houses as rentals and selling them and renting them into this marketplace like you're seeing with a, a higher demand for rent and a lower demand for purchase. They're doing this because they feel they can get a good price on the property they rent or they, they purchase right now and uh, basically get their investment back in a short period of time? Well, it's based on a couple things. First of all, they're buying what we call below market, so a house that would be worth a hundred grand. You know, we're selling for fifty, fifty-five thousand, and someone's going to put work into it because it's been neglected. So they're going to be into that house for about seventy-five percent of its value. So there's immediate equity right there. That also creates for great cash flow because property in America traditionally is going to rent for one percent of its value, and if you're invested in the property for seventy-five percent of its value, obviously there's a nice cash flow there. And then they are banking on future appreciation because let's be honest. I think that this is a blip in the in, in the uh, in the radar. I, I did a an article the other day, interviewed on an article the other day that was uh, in USA Today about the first time in, ever in history that unmarried couples are buying houses before they get married at a higher rate than ever before. So what you're seeing is young generations are still interested in buying houses. I think what we're having is this gap from the last five or six years of a really bad housing market, really bad hiring and employment market, and you're just seeing some small effects of that or changes in our marketplace. Mark, are the young couples buying, I'm going to ask you to get inside the psychology, are they buying because they figure that this is a momentary blip downward and they will actually recover the, the money they put in rather quickly, or are they buying because they're enchanted with the idea of home ownership as an unmarried couple? So, and this is, again, this is someone else's article and what they revealed through their research and what I feel I'm seeing in my business, again, with Network Realty from the people that are buying from us, is that they're buying because they're saying, look, this is an opportunity. There's a down market. These are people who, who have been in a committed relationship and they're probably going to get married or feel they're going to get married but haven't been married yet. Still very unorthodox for what we've seen historically in America, but they're seeing an opportunity. And I think people are realizing, uh, as we talked about people being more interested in investment, that these are kind of an investment. These are liquid assets. This is not something that, unless you're in Detroit or you happen to get caught in a really bad marketplace, houses are usually something that trade. I mean, in most markets, we're seeing maybe two to three months' worth of inventory. That means if you put your house on the market and it's fixed up, you should be able to sell that in 60, 90 days. That's that's, no, it's not liquid. That is a fairly movable asset. So I think they're seeing an opportunity as well as the ability, if this doesn't work as a relationship, to get out of that opportunity. And I think what that indicates is just that young people are still very interested in homeowners. Real estate expert Mark Bloom. Mark, thanks so much for spending a couple of minutes educating us this morning. I appreciate it.